Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal compilation video today. So we have two patients in this video. Uh, first gentleman's come through, uh, bless him, he's, he's been struggling with his ears for a little while. Uh, he's got a lot of very dry, hardened, it's difficult to tell whether it's wax or skin because it's so tough. Uh, but same on both sides for him. So what we're doing here first of all is just clearing the outer part of the ear canal. Uh, just getting rid of some of the looser debris at the entrance. What you can see then is we've got a harder plug here. Uh, almost perfectly formed to the shape of the ear canal. So what we're going to do is lift from the sides because at the moment it's quite firmly attached uh, on each canal wall. As we lift you'll be able to see that there's a little bit of uh, white dry uh, sort of dead skin underneath. So this has been sat on top of this skin in the ear canal for a little while. It's quite tough so that's why I'm opting to go in with the, the crocodile forcep to grab hold of the edge of this. A little bit just broke away there with the forceps. There you can see the whiter material there just underneath. That's where it's been holding on quite tightly in this canal. I'm going to get some good movement to it there though. So we've taken the one side of it away and brought it all forwards in the canal. So we'll just grip it again. There we are. You can see all that sort of dead skin material underneath. That's why it's difficult to tell whether this is uh, skin or wax. It's kind of very closely mixed together. So you can see there's a lot of, sort of dead skin kind of discharge and bits and pieces underneath here. So we're just peeling that away at the moment. Now what you'll see is that it actually goes down very deep. So it's sitting almost directly on top of the eardrum. There you can see it around the outside edge. So we're just peeling this away. We've got a good loop there. So if we can get into that little gap there, we should be able to get this out with a crocodile forcep. I'm sorry, the uh, the it's moving quite a bit. Uh, the gentleman had a slight tremor, uh, which was causing the, obviously the camera to move slightly, which makes it a little bit more difficult um, to clear, especially when you're clearing legs we are now, which is close to the canal wall, because uh, we don't want to, we obviously don't want to dig into the canal wall because that could risk causing some bleeding. So here we are. You can see we're just taking away some of the older kind of skin debris that's around the outside here. After speaking to this gentleman, he has his ears cleaned out quite regularly, not with us. Uh, this is the first visit to us, but he's had them cleaned out on a regular basis, usually about every ooh, five to six months. Um, from what he's described as what's come out of his ears in the past, it's very similar. So it does look like this is a recurrent problem for him. But I'm just, I can see there's some dead skin to the right side of the canal there. So I'm just removing what I can see to the left. And then I'll try and lift a little bit of that dead skin then on the right. So just very gently getting underneath the leading edge here. You can see it touched the canal wall there so the patient jumped. So we just need to be very, very careful in here. Not to touch the canal wall. It's a very delicate procedure and obviously with the tremor it makes it even more difficult. So I'm not going to go too close to the eardrum if I can help it, just because I don't want to accidentally touch the eardrum. You can see the tremor kicking in there again. There we are. So I'm just taking away, trying to stay you know, a couple of millimeters away from the drum. There we go. Now that's as much as I want to take away safely um, for this patient really. 
it's difficult to try and clear the because to clear the, re the remainder of that i'd have to be on top of the eardrum and with that tremor i don't want to run the risk of perforating the eardrum so this is the second ear so I'm just peeling away, as we did on the other side, the outer section. Very similar type of material on this side, very hardened up wax, sitting on top of the skin in the canal, so causing a few issues as far as the, the skin dying off underneath it. So we're just going to lift with the crocodile forceps and just gently, slowly but steadily pull this out. There we go. It's coming away nicely so you can see just how big this plug was um, when we get behind this you can see we've got some dead skin there at the, the, the roof of the canal we've got a large piece of this dried um, this dried skin material here now it I, I I'm trying normally with the tremor we would kind of try and avoid going anywhere near the eardrum but it because that was so firmly attached it was causing him no end of trouble as far as his hearing was concerned i've cleared that away we can see some more dead kind of skin debris in here as well so let's get rid of that you can see it connected to the attic portion there as well okay so you can see that where that's been stuck to the eardrum we've got this this layer here so just going to gently probe the outside edge there we are. I can see you've got a bit of a lift. Okay, so we've got a bit of a peel here. So if I can just gently peel this away without getting too close to the drum. There we are. Okay, I'm going to have to try and clear some of this off the drum. So the gentleman was an absolute star. He tried to stay as as he possibly could for me so I could get this off for him there you can see it's just very liquid material now so not that hardened up material I was expecting it to be it's just very very liquid so just he's staying really still bless him so we've managed to get a lot of this off the drum I'm not going to get it completely clear today but there are, you can see the material that we removed. So this very hardened up wax with the whiter um, dead skin underneath. So that's it in inches there. Okay, so second patient of the compilation. Uh, this lady's come through with very blocked up ears. Uh, so what we're going to do today is just remove this for us. So as you can see, we've got this uh, piece of wax that's sitting in the canal. Quite angular at the front. So not the easiest to get a good suction grip on. So what I'm trying to do is just move it uh, across to the left so I can get a good suction grip on the, the flatter part of it to the right hand side. Uh, but you can see it's not really wanting to budge uh, too well. So just working this up and down, trying to get the best grip I can using the suction. There we are, I just broke a kind of leading edge off there. It looked a little bit like a cotton wool uh, fibre, so I, I tried to get a grip on it with the uh, crocodile forceps. There you go. It wasn't cotton wool fibre, but it was just a very long piece of dry, uh, dry sort of skin running through the centre of it. So luckily, as we got a grip on the outside edge, uh, it started to, to pull the remaining uh, wax debris forwards. You can see that's, that's actually here. It's from the side of the head. You can see getting in, in the way there. So there's the eardrum on that side. So all nice and clear now on that one. Now, this ear canal, you can see cotton bud use here. We've got a very deep depression in the center of the wax whilst the outside edges are still um, quite close to the, 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 the canal wall. So just trying to get some of the hairs out of the way. There we are. So as we go in, we're just going to as we did with the first patient just lift there you go from the sides now you can see this is some dry skin here as we're lifting it. it's peeling from the canal wall so we need to get this out of the way otherwise it's going to stop us from getting to the, the, the deeper wax behind a lot more dry skin here again which as we start pulling 
starts to unravel on the inside part of the ear. So this has been bunching up in there. You can see this hair. This lady had quite short hair, so it wouldn't go behind her ear. It kept dropping in the way all the time. And you can see as we're pulling, see these long ribbons of skin still going, coming away. So luckily we were able to get grips on this. And as we pulled, it was pulling the, the, the deeper ribbons out of the canal. There we go, there's another one gone. So we've got a, a little leading edge there. Try and get through this here again. Now, you can see the very last bit of wax here. So that those ribbons of skin have been holding this piece of wax much, much deeper in the canal. So we're just taking that one away. And there we are. There's the eardrum looking nice and healthy. So this is what we removed. You can see uh, a lot of the long bits of skin got sucked into the machine, unfortunately, but these are the larger pieces we took away. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. And as always, guys, until the next time, take care.